I'd like to call the Tuesday, June 13, special call meeting to order. It's approximately 5:10 p.m. Roll call, Madam Clerk. Councilman Roth. Here. Yes, Councilman Burgess. Here. Councilman Shelley. Here. Mayor Porter. Here. Um, order of business, Mr. Attorney. If we just have the one item. Mr. Mayor, it's uh, tab number one. It's revisions to the AXI agreement, car, car number 2118. It's a resolution of the City Council of the City of Homestead, Florida, approving a revised agreement for the development of a multimodal station with retail space and a family entertainment center in historic downtown, superseding resolution numbers 2017-0335 and 2017-0436, providing for implementation and providing for an effective date. Matt, you're going to have to do a better job talking to that microphone. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. We'll Mr. Up. Manager. Mayor, we have Gail here who's going to read, the, for the record, the details. Ms. Rota. Okay. Staff recommends that the mayor and council approve the attached resolution authorizing the city manager to enter into the attached revised agreement with Axiom DR Construction LLC DBA Axiom Construction Company LLC Axiom and authorizing the city manager to negotiate terms for an additional agreement with Axiom in the event the city is able to obtain new market tax credit funding for the Homestead Station project. Uh, the background information is set forth in the memorandum, which I'm now going to read. At the April 26, 2017 council meeting, the city council authorized the city manager to enter into a comprehensive agreement for the construction of a multimodal transit center with Axiom Construction Company, LLC, DBA Axiom Construction Company, LLC, here and after Axiom. In subsequent discussions with Axiom, revisions to the agreement were negotiated to address the potential of the city receiving new market tax credits funding and for Axiom to satisfy the requirements of its lender. Revisions were made to four sections of the overall agreement. These revisions are summarized below and separated into sections as follows. Section 1, revisions to the development agreement. Section 2, revisions to the public facility ground lease. Section 3, revisions to the construction contract. And Section 4, revisions to the general conditions. Section 1, revisions to the development agreement. Section 10.4 has been added in order to allow the city manager to enter into an amendment with the developer on behalf of the city if the city receives new market tax credits. The city is actively pursuing new markets tax credits for the project. If the city receives an allocation of award, an amendment regarding new markets tax credits will need to be added. Additional revisions require that the developer will be responsible for all off-site improvements required by the development processes of the city, including, without limitation, the traffic study currently being conducted by TrafTech in connection with the city's roadway requirements. Section 25, Transfers and Assignments, has been added to allow Axiom DR Construction LLC to transfer the development agreement to a wholly owned subsidiary of Axiom, a special purpose entity, Axiom SPE, provided that Axiom SPE is an entity licensed as a general contractor in Florida and qualified to do business in Florida. This assignment maintains protection for the city and satisfies the requirements of the developer's lender. One exhibit has been amended and two exhibits have been added to the development agreement. An ex amended exhibit J is now the construction timeline. It was formerly off-site improvements. Exhibit K, form of assignment and assumption of development agreement, and exhibit L, form of assignment and assumption of construction documents have been added. Section 2, revisions to the public facility ground lease. One exhibit, Exhibit D, Assignment and Assumption of Public Facility Ground Lease, has been added to the lease, allowing Axiom to assign the lease to a wholly owned subsidiary of Axiom DR Construction LLC, which subsidiary is qualified to do business in Florida. Section 3, revisions to the construction contract. 
Uh, American Institute of Architects Form A201 provides industry standard language for design construction contracts as well as standardized forms. In AIA Form A101, language has been added to Article 1 so that if any of the construction provisions set forth in the development agreement conflict with the provisions of the construction contract, the more stringent provision will govern. Language has also been added to Article 4. This language explains that if the city pays for services that are part of the agreement, for example, demolition, then the cost of those services will be deducted from the $33.3 million contract. For example, if the city pays $200,000 for demolition, that amount will be deducted from the $33.3 million, reducing it to $33.1 million. Section 4, revisions to the general conditions. The standard AIA general conditions, Form A201, have, uh, have been revised to ensure that the contract's schedule of values, a table of construction unit prices, takes into account any reductions from the total contract price for sums paid to the developer for non-construction develop, development-related fees. A provision has been added to AIA Form A201, A201, granting the city the right to assign its rights and obligations under the contract documents in accordance with the development agreement, as long as the city is a specifically intended third-party beneficiary of the construction documents. If the city determines in its reasonable discretion that the assignee or the contractor are failing to comply with the construction documents, then following seven days written notice to assignee and contractor, the city will have the right, but not the obligation, to exercise any of its rights under the construction documents. Attached as exhibits to the car are the revised development agreement, ground lease, construction contract, and general conditions with underlined portions reflecting the revisions. Mr. Manager, anything? That's it. Questions from Council? Is there a motion? Move it. Is there a second? Second. Roll call, Madam Clerk. Yes, sir. We've added you already, too. Okay. Yes. Councilman Roth? Yes. Councilman Burgess? Yes. Councilman Shelley? Yes. Mayor Porter? Yes. The motion carries. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion. Moving a second. All in favor? Aye. Motion carries. Give us a few minutes and we'll go to the committee to hold.